Right guys, so this is the look we're going for. Um, it was inspired by a film that I am so late in grabbing onto. It is unreal. It's by a film called Twilight. You've all heard of it. I grabbed on the bandwagon about 10 years too late. But anyway, um, <coughs> what I was going for was um, Bella Swan. She wears like no makeup. I wasn't happy, so I improvised and took bits of her personality, like a quirkiness, um, actually the colour of her bed sheets, if you can remember. In the film, my dad said uh, she had purple bed sheets, and sort of took it and didn't take it over the top. So this is like sort of the look that I expect her wearing when, like, she's at the prom at the end with. Edward in a purple dress and purple red sheets on her eyes. Yeah, so this is it. Um, really nice. I really love the look. One of my lights has just blown. Um, yeah, so hope you like it. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Right, guys, so your first step is to take um, a light eyeshadow. I'm using Max um, Mela eyeshadow. Um, it's a satin finish. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and a flat shader of brush I don't want it. Um, taking that on the flat shader of brush and you're going to be placing this in the inner third of your eye and really pat that on nice this makes your eye appear more open um, Mail is like an off white, I'd say it's more like um, a champagne colour. Actually, I don't know, like an ivory colour. So, really pack that on the inner third of your eye into your tear duct, giving you that wide eyed look. And then take it again and put it into your brow bone. I've got these actually in the pots because I can't fit them in the palette. I need a new palette. Collecting them faster than I thought. Right, so once that's on, I'm going to pick up, um, I'd say like a mid tone purpley pink. This one's called um, Lotus Land and it was part of the uh, Star Flash collection. I got this from um, a website called lovemakeup.com. And you're just going to start packing that on the inner third of your eye, slightly overlapping your male eyeshadow or whatever light eyeshadow you're using. Um, you really want to overlap them because you get a better um, fade into each colour. If you don't overlap them, you end up with um, edges. So. These colours are looking pretty wish washed out here, but I shall try my best. I'm going a new camera at Christmas, so I can actually see them better from further away. Maybe I'll stay here. I use my webcam, so I can't really zoom in. Well, I can't zoom in, there's no really about it. Um, and you're going to take um, a dark purple you want. This one, which is Nocturnal by MAC, and you're just going to pack that on the very outer corner of your eye, like this, overlapping the lotus land, like that, like so. Then take a small smudgeable brush or a pencil brush, MAC pencil brush should work fine, like this. And then I'm going to dip it in a colour called Dominatrix, which is from the Stars Makeup Haven Single Eyeshadows. Um, looking at it, it looks very much like Beauty Mark. Now I'm just using this pencil brush to actually place my colour. And I'm just placing it in sort of like a slant, but only to the centre of my eye. And then stop. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to start blending that out. Windshield wipe motions, 
circular motions. Either way, you don't want to bring it past the um, center of your eye. Sort of um, bring it out towards your brow bone, blending it as you go. You want to move back, make sure it's the same as your rubber. Make sure they're even. And then again, pick up some more of your colour and place it down. This way you get a much more even blend through applying, blending, reapplying. So take that in, this is a 224 and start. Now don't be as big with your circular motions, keep them much smaller, much more compact on the area that you want. In this way, you're going to intensify the colour right in the crease but still blend it out to the rest. Like that. Slightly bring it over with a very light hand into the inner socket. Out onto the nose slightly. But make sure it's more concentrated here. Taking that smudge brush, I'm going to pick up some black. Um, it's a, a Stars Makeup Haven eyeshadow again, and it's called Unzip. With that smudge brush, I'm basically just packing it on the inner corner, like that, not even bringing it up at all. <coughs> Taking that blender brush again and just blending it very restricted circular motions and then buffing it up and they just look about even and then <coughs> Taking your flat shader brush, just go over your colour. Oh, it's not even in there. I'm losing my mind here today. Um, just pack on the colour on the lid again, just to re-intensify it. Now I wanted it to be very neutral on the lid sort of thing, even though I wanted colour. And then just go over your white again. Or your nail like that if you're using that colour and run it through the brow bone like that then I'm going to do my eyeliner uh, using fluid line I'm bringing it to a point here right so I'm going to do that and then I'll be back so guys this is your finished look eyeliner very pointed to give that um, feline look um, quite a neutral face slight contoured little bit of um, a rose blush and then um, a Bally M lip gloss. This one. Very pretty. Um, it's just number eight. It smells really good. You can't really see it that good. But it's nice. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.